Good afternoon, Hawaii. This is your news at 12 o'clock a.m. on JBKK, and I am your reporter, Channel Wong. Today we are here in the beautiful Hawaii Kai area in Kalama Valley. Standing next to me is Rebecca Guerrero at her lovely abode that is being terrorized by subterranean and drywood termites. Rebecca, could you please elaborate? Yes, well, one day I was outside enjoying nature until I came across a bunch of waste material, mud tunnels, kick-out holes, and some sort of feeding patterns along my home from the termites. And what does that mean exactly? It's evidence that subterranean termites left their waste material called carton behind, along with distinct picky eating patterns of softwood traces of mud tunnels from where they live underground. The evidence also shows drywood termites having their different kind of waste material called frass left around. These types of termites are not picky, so be aware of those kick out holes. That must be nasty. Can you give your viewers at home more information that they should know about this termite situation? I'd love to. Well, first thing you should know about termites is that it's never too early to protect your house from them. When building your house, you should consider physical barriers like treated wood, plastic termite barrier, termite mesh, and end paste. These items should protect your ho your home from these pesky creatures. You hear that, folks? It's never too early. You should also plan by setting light locations away from the entrances of your home. Wandering alates that are the flying termites you see are attracted to light and will start a new colony if there is accessible shelter, food, and water. That's very interesting to know. I always see these around my house. Can you tell us more? Um, well, yeah. In fact, you should always reduce soil to wood contact. Never just leave piles of wood just lying around on the ground. It's leading them right to your home. I've also heard that you should create water pathways or impasses to keep your ground around your house dry because it is like a magnet to them. Correct. Water is a necessity for their survival. So leaving plants and box planters against walls is bound to cause termites because plants transport these bugs from the ground to your home. I haven't even thought about that. I bet you haven't thought about termites sometimes making entries through cracks and cements and walkways and stuff either. Well, they do, so keep watch. Wow. Well, thank you, Rebecca, for all the information that could be useful to the future homeowners out there and you homeowners who are experiencing termites at the moment. My pleasure. If my knowledge could potentially help someone's house from turning into what termites did to my house, it would make me happy because I had no idea about termites till the damage they did to my home. That is true. And if I may ask, how did you become so knowledgeable about termites? It was from one of my teacher's friends at Kaiser High School, Ms. Ashmini. Oh, that really beautiful teacher that teaches zoology and looks like America's Next Top Model. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, well, thanks, Becca, for your time. For further information, please watch the later news at 6 p.m. with Kalai Hekalai. That is our news on JBKK at 12. Thank you for watching. Ooh, I like that. Oh no! Oh, crap. I'm and I'm continuing on the subject of termites that you heard about on your previous episode. There is a few general facts you should know about termites before dealing with them. First, know that termites are decomposers that use wood as food source, possibly your home. Hawaii has eight species of termites. Eight. There are only two main ones you encounter, the subterranean and the dry wood ones. But the subterranean termites are the main contributors of damage here. 
two kinds of termites can be found in different locations. The subterranean in the ground, while the dry woods are found only in the wood they eat. In July, swarms of dry wood termites are most common. These guys produce 12 termites during their first year. Their colony size is only about 200 to a few thousand, very small compared to the subterranean. Unlike the dry wood termites, subterranean swarms are most common in May and takes five years to develop a matured colony. There are three to ten million of them. To have termites, follow the six-step rules we gave you. Insecticides and bait controls are also a choice, but don't be too mean to them. It's in their nature to recycle. Well, thank you for watching. That was your news at six on JBKK. Oh, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs>